Good evening, everybody. Namaskar, Vanakkam. It's an absolute pleasure to be here in Chennai, as Mr. Mayur and Mr. Ravi pointed out. Truly, time flies. It's been a really long time since I have visited Chennai, and um, coming here is always such a pleasure. There's so much love and so much warmth, and I feel totally at home. And I can't thank you all enough for giving me such a warm welcome with so much love. Um, firstly, I was, um, it was brought to my attention by uh, Mr. Ravi that uh, today is Parents' Day. Every day is Parents' Day. <laughs> and, uh, well, God bless parents all across the world. And um, we are blessed to have such a beautiful experience in our lives. And uh, like I said, we celebrate that emotion every waking day of our lives. And today we're here, of course, to be celebrating uh, some very important milestones. But uh, mostly I'd like to uh, bring uh, the attention to the fact that we're celebrating a lack stem cell uh, storage units that have already uh, taken place with life cell. And I think that's an incredible milestone and something I wanted to underline right at the very onset of what I have to say to you today. So first, a round of applause for Life Cell. <laughs> Congratulations, Mayur, uh, uh, to your father, your family, and uh, Mr. Ravi as well, and the entire team. Uh, I think we're doing a, uh, dare I say we, because today I feel very much on board and part of the family, but we're doing a very important um, uh, service in life, and um, I think it's it's wonderful to to achieve such milestones, to underline them in the public conscious because it just draws attention to such simple and obvious um, facts, gifts that we can share with our generations to come in the name of stem cell banking and particularly cord cell banking. The decision to bank uh, umbilical cord cells had to be taken at a time when um, taking baby steps into parenthood. And uh, on our part, we did extensive research, spoke to our friends, um, our families, of course. Uh, we were informed already, but you know, at that crucial time in your life, you end up wanting to do only that much more research, being a walking, talking encyclopedia, if you can help it on the subject. Speak to your doctors and uh, knowledge can be very, very reassuring and empowering. And um, once we were made aware of the potential of cord cell banking, uh, the decision was, um, was natural. And um, we recognized how it's the simplest and yet such a precious gift that can be given to our children at such an important time of our lives. So to be able to do so in a timely fashion I think it's very, very important to be informed on the subject, and that's probably why, why we all are here, and with the help of our media friends, who uh, I hope are listening, we are able to spread the word to a wider, more receptive um, audience uh, and society. LifeCell, of course, got in touch with us and um, informed us extensively. And like I was just referring to the fact that information itself can be so empowering. I think uh, after that, um, for expecting parents, decision making comes very easily. And uh, with the kind of uh, extensive information that LifeCell shares with expectant parents, um, the decision to uh, bank our cord cells uh, was very, very easy and natural for us. Having preserved stem cells with uh, life cell, I felt that every expectant parent across our country should become aware of this concept. And um, stem cells from umbilical cord cells are nature's, uh, is a nature given resource that needs to be preserved. And the opportunity to do it in a safe and simple method is given to us during such a beautiful experience of childbirth. And I've experienced this personally myself. So when approached by, uh, to approach to become the brand ambassador, very honestly, it was just such a natural synergy for me to happily come on board 
and um, help in increasing the awareness of knowledge that I had received at the right time in my life. And so we have gotten together as a team and created a media communication that we so naturally know as advertising with photographs and visual representation. We have done an ad film so that you know the communication can spread far and wide in um, the way that an audience is used to receiving information. But at the same time, for us, the content of what we were talking about was extremely uh, important. Uh, we respected what we were here to talk about. And uh, we have retained that in our uh, communication. So you haven't taken away from the core of what the subject is, and that is umbilical stem cell um, banking. And so we have shared that in natural circumstances of um, pre-childbirth, like ceremonies of gold bharai, baby showers, as uh, it may be defined under different titles. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, that's, I think, very true to our uh, natural social uh, customary uh, ways in families. And hence, we brought that essence into our uh, communication as well. And uh, we also wanted to share how um, it can be such a natural gift also during such ceremonies that uh, people can gift to each other in terms of the um, financial investment that goes into uh, cord cell banking. Uh, I think we are always looking for gifts to give to the expectant um, parents. And this can be one as well as an idea, so I'm just sharing that, that this is something you can think about <laughs> socially. Because uh, what's wonderful is that uh, Lifecell has taken into consideration affordable pricing. And bearing that in mind, um, this can very easily be a gift idea during uh, you know, pre-childbirth for families and friends to consider. Having said that, I would again like to reiterate and say that uh, I'm happy to be here today in Chennai, joining LifeCell in their uh, milestone, today I'll say our milestone, of uh, marking a lack storage units, and also another significant beginning today for LifeCell, and that is uh, to note that LifeCell has taken a step towards creating a larger social impact by setting up a public umbilical cord stem cell bank. Now this is a major step towards addressing the dearth of stem cell assets in the country. In the years to come, my best, best wishes to LifeCell to become the largest public bank in the country. And I hope we make stem cell transplants accessible to all in need. God bless, Mr. Mayura Bhaya, your, your father, your family, uh, uh, the team that works very, very conscientiously, Ravi, all of you on this journey. I'm happy to be on board with you all to help keep the communication strong. And I definitely wish a fruitful journey up ahead. So God bless and my best wishes always. Thank you. Thank you.